everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. We are on day two, day two of my declutter series, so I'm super, super excited. If you missed day one, I will link it below. I don't know how to put it up here, but if I work it out, I'll do so. <laughs> Um, today we are going to be doing foundations and concealers so I'm super super excited for that. This one is a pretty big one so grab yourself a drink and let's get into it. Oh and if you're new here I do have two pugs and you'll probably hear them snoring in the background. Okay let's go. Okay foundations. I have a lot of foundations and I don't know how much I'm honestly going to be getting rid of because I love foundations i love mixing foundations together i love trying all different ones but let's have a sort through and see what we can do okay starting off with this color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer i love this stuff for when my skin is looking nice i have this in medium 9w recently due to the whole mask wearing situation i have had really bad acne but when my skin is clear i love this stuff i am not much of a tinted moisturizer person but when i am feeling a little bit more of a natural face and my skin is looking good as i said i love this stuff so i'm going to be keeping that one next up i have the maybelline dream urban cover full coverage lightweight protective makeup it's called spf 50 126 nude beige I didn't even realise I owned this, I can't remember using it, um, so I am going to keep, I have used it, I just don't remember it, so I'm going to keep hold of this and give it another go, I'm intrigued to see what it's like. Okay, next up are these Maybelline Superstay foundation sticks, I used to use these a lot more when I used to cream contour or for fuller coverage. Um, this one is 005 nude beige it looks like i've used loads but actually i just don't think you get very much in there as it is um then i have the super stay in 003 true ivory this one again looks like it's got hardly any left but i don't think i've even really used this a lot i'm gonna get rid of these i just don't see myself reaching for them very often um, so yeah, that's two that's going. Next up, I have the Revolution Colorstay 24 Hour Foundation in 220 Natural Beige. I love this foundation. I'm definitely keeping this one. You can see there's not much left in it. I really enjoy this foundation. It is for combination oily skin, which is me. Um, it works really, really well. It lasts a long time. I have this in several colors. I, I also have it in 240 Medium Beige. Um, I just really enjoy this foundation and I will continue to use it. It's definitely staying in my collection. Next up, we have the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is in Latte 330N. Again, I love this foundation. I reach for it all the time. It's very full coverage, which I love, especially since my skin has been a lot more acne prone. I just need to cover those bad boys up. It has a really nice pump, which I enjoy. I really like the packaging definitely keeping this a lot of people complain about the scent of it it's something that just doesn't bother me um but i can understand why it does bother some people i would definitely buy this again once this one's finished i really enjoy this foundation i'm definitely keeping it in my collection next up we have the gosh exceptional wear foundation this is in 12 natural i actually don't mind this foundation um i've used it quite a bit i used to wear it for work a lot um it's I think I'm going to keep it in my collection just because what's the point of throwing it away? No one else is going to want it and there may be times where I do still want to use it as well. Um, but yeah, it is a long lasting foundation. It did last quite well from what I remember. Um, I think I've probably got about half the tube left so I'm going to hang on to this one. I'm going to be hanging on to a lot of these foundations guys <laughs> because I have issues okay next up what should we go for let's go for these these are the foria foundations these are super cheap they are full coverage really good coverage but they do feel quite lightweight i really enjoy these foundations they were super super cheap um they're soft wet soft matte light wear foundations however I've had them for a long time now, definitely longer than the 12 months that is advised. So I am going to get rid of these, but 
if you have been thinking about buying them i would recommend it's a really good foundation especially for the price up we have the estee lauder double wear foundation i have this in 2w1 dawn now i used to absolutely love this foundation i used to be obsessed with it but the last few times i've worn it i'm not that fussed unless i mix it with a different foundation like the nars it's just so thick and drying on my skin now even though i have got an oily skin type this i find does cake up on me a lot more than when my skin was younger i think my skin's just changed over time i am going to still keep it and i will still wear it i do wish this foundation came with a pump i know you can buy a pump separately i just wish for the price it came with it i can't stand the pour bottle but it is what it is um so yeah i'm going to keep it for now but it's not my favorite i think i might if i haven't really used it in the next six months I'm going to do another declutter i'm going to put it in my diary and promise myself if i haven't really used it in the next six months then i will get rid of it then next up i have two of the uoma say what weightless foundations i have two shades i have fair lady t3w and fair lady t1w the t1w is obviously lighter than the three um i really enjoy this foundation it says it's a soft matte foundation which it is but after a while my oils do seep through but i don't mind that it's quite a more of a natural full coverage foundation i really enjoy it it is pricey though so after i've used these up i don't know if i would rush out to purchase it again but it is a foundation that i've enjoyed using over probably the past year and i will continue to do so um this one is nearly all out um and i am going to make it my mission to use this up this year um but yeah i like these so i'm keeping them next up we have the born this way foundation this is in ivory um i've had this for ages it's definitely expired now i bought it when i used to fake tan all the time so the shade was always too light for me but actually now it would be perfect for me because i don't tan as much however i am going to get rid of it although it's breaking my heart and i want to keep it i'm not going to use it i never reach for it anymore it's definitely expired so i'm going to get rid of that one the same with this tarte shape tape matte foundation i have this in light sand and it's just too light for me which i'm gutted about because it is a really nice foundation um i'm gonna see if there's anybody else that would want this to give it a good home because there's definitely some life left in it still next up i have the la girl pro matte high definition longwear foundations i have two different shades of these again they are soft beige and natural um i have only used these once or twice and just never really loved them so i'm actually going to be good and get rid of them see if there's another home that they can go to i haven't had them very long at all um just a few months so there's still life left in them so i'm going to see if somebody else would like to give them a loving home i have this foundation stick from primark i would use this as a contour i never really do that anymore but look you get so much product in that so again i'm gonna see if somebody else can give this a good home it's got enough amount of life in it um that somebody might appreciate that but yeah i'm um, says this one lasts for 18 months so it's definitely got quite a bit of life left in it i just never really reach for it so there's no point of me keeping hold of it when i don't use it next up we have the revolution matte base in f8.5 i love this foundation i'm keeping hold of it um yeah i use it quite regularly again it's a foundation that i do like to mix with other foundations i like to mix all my foundations <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoy this foundation and I'm definitely keeping hold of it. Next up, I have a couple of the Primark foundations. These are the matte foundations. Um, I have them in nude. This one's nude. This one's light beige. They are nice foundations, but I don't need two. So I think I'm going to keep the lighter one um, and declutter the slightly darker one um because i just don't need both of them and i'll see how i'll get on with using this one in the next six months or so next up i have two of the primark foundations which are a really good dupe for the double wear foundation first of all the packaging on this is so nice these are five pounds each which i think is so good i have it in nude beige and toffee these are really nice foundations i really enjoy them and i need to get them out more i'm going to keep these in both shades for now wait let me double check actual shade colors of them so yeah the nude one is quite light is this one going to be too dark for me though even when i'm tanned 
I, yeah, I like both of those colours. I'm going to keep hold of both of those for now. Again, see how I get on over the next six months. But this is also a really good foundation to use when I'm doing makeup looks. But I don't want to waste any expensive product. I couldn't recommend these foundations anymore for the price. I think they're really, really good. Next up, I have three of the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundations. This is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. This is a thick foundation and I love it. I really get along well with this foundation. So I have it in Creamy Nude. I have it in creamy vanilla and I have it in light tan. I just love this foundation. Um, it does last a long time on me. My oils don't come through too badly to the point where I need to blot or anything. It is a thick foundation. So this is a foundation that I would wear on a night out or for a real full glam makeup look. I'm going to keep all three of these just depending on what sort of fake tan I've got on, if any at the time. But yeah, as you can see in the bottle, like it is loved, well loved and used, but also a really thick formula. So yep i'm keeping those i love these next up i have this mac studio sculpt spf 15 foundation i bought this off of rachel leary's recommendation i used it once and i just don't get on with it so i'm going to pass this along um again this is a this is in nc 15 it has a 24 month lifespan on it which is good i reckon it's still got another year or so left in it i've literally used this once or twice it just didn't work for me um, but I'm sure there's someone else out there that will give it a loving home so yeah I'm gonna get rid of that one next up I have two of the max studio fix foundation in NC 15 so this foundation used to be my holy grail I absolutely loved this foundation so much um, then my skin just started changing and it just didn't work as well for me I've got so many empty bottles of this saved up where I want to take it back to MAC to exchange for a lipstick. Who else still does that? Definitely me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this one just because there's probably about half the bottle left, if that. Um, and I'd like to keep it just for if in the summer maybe my skin goes back to how it was and I might be able to use it again. But I'm going to, this is a full one that hasn't been opened. I'm going to pass that one on to somebody else because it might as well get used and get some love out of it because I'm not giving it what it needs. And we have this Morphe foundation. My friend Kelly actually gifted this to me. I've only used it once so far, but I really enjoyed it when I did use it. I have it in F2.20. This is a really good color match for me. I'm gonna keep hold of this and definitely try and use it more. I've not had it for very long. Um, but yeah, she didn't get along with it. She didn't like the smell of it, but the smell, I'm not very sensitive to smells on my skin. It didn't bother me at all. So yeah, I'm going to keep hold of this and keep playing with it. Oh, keep playing with it. Next up, we have this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. This is in Buff. Um, a lot of people rave about this foundation. I can take it or leave it. I don't mind it. However, I have used a considerable amount of it, so I don't think anybody else is going to want it. So I'm going to keep it and try and use it up. Um, I just feel like it does work okay on my skin, but there's just others that I prefer to reach for. But let's see how much wear I can get out of it over the next six months or so. Okay, these two are my two favourite foundations <laughs> of 2020. I found this foundation in 2020 and I love it. It's my new favourite, so much so that I've got it in a couple of shades depending on what my skin's doing at that time. I have it in 140 Golden Beige and 120 in Vanilla this one is when I'm really pale and have absolutely no color to me at all um, and this one is when I'm a little bit darker um yeah I have been using this for work for makeup um I, when I say makeup when I'm doing makeup looks um I just love how it sits on my skin it doesn't cake it doesn't crack up it doesn't go weird like I really enjoy this foundation if you haven't tried it already I would really recommend it it's lovely Next up is a lovely foundation I found in 2020 as well. I really enjoy this foundation. The only negative thing I have to say is the shade range is absolutely shocking. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I bought this in Superdrug. 
this shade is too dark for me the next shade down was way too light for me their shade range is shocking um i really hope they come out of a better shade range because even though i'm an oily girl and this is like a, a more of a glowy foundation this is beautiful i really enjoy mixing this foundation with fuller coverage more matte foundations to meet in the middle from too glowy to too matte so i really enjoy mixing it either with the huda foundation or i like mixing it with the milani conceal and define it works beautifully i really enjoy this foundation as a whole and i would recommend it if you can find it in your shade but yeah i've got it in classic tan m3 i just really hope they step up their game because i have to lighten this foundation up so much every time i use it but I do love it and I'm keeping hold of it. I also have a Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. These aren't cheap. I got this in Creamy Vanilla 215. I paid like £14 for this and I've used it once, if that. So I'm going to pass this along. There's just something about foundation sticks that just I try and use them, but they just don't work for me. I don't know what it is. I just don't get along with them very, very well. But there might be someone else out there that will love this, so I'm going to pass it on. It's just, it's nothing bad about it. It just doesn't work for me. Next up, we have the NARS Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation. I adore this foundation, considering, again, that I'm an oily skinned girl you wouldn't think that i would love this foundation as much as i do but i do i really enjoy it it's a foundation again that i like wearing on its own or i like mixing it with fuller coverage more matte foundations to meet in the middle i have it in punjab for when i'm more tanned and salzburg for when i'm my pale self yeah it's a lovely foundation i'm definitely keeping these i love them keeping on the track of nars i have so enjoyed using this foundation so far i have their new soft matte complete foundation i have it in salzburg light 3.5 again i would love to get this eventually in the darker shade probably of punjab again sometimes i'm tanned i need a tanned foundation other times i'm pale so this one's fine for me when i have absolutely no fake tan on and in the winter but i know as the summer comes and even as I get a bit of natural colour on my face, this one isn't going to work as well for me. But this foundation is stunning. First of all, you get 45ml, which is just crazy for the price. Much more than you get in any other foundations. I got this with my Boots Point, so I actually got it for free, which makes it even better. This sits on my skin beautifully. It gives such a skin-like complexion, even though it is quite a fuller coverage foundation. I can't rave about this stuff enough. I'm excited to use it even more. I've been using it pretty much non-stop since I got it. I've been wearing it to work. I've been wearing it for full face makeup. I've been wearing it just to pop to the shops. I love it. It feels lovely. I put it on with a beauty blender. I really enjoy it. So yeah, I would say this is my biggest recommended foundation of the year. On to Revolution now. I have a few Revolution products. So let's get them in order so starting off with the revolution conceal and define i have two of these in f7 the reason i have two is this was my absolute favorite foundation earlier on in the year it worked really really well for me however as my skin keeps changing it's just not working as well and i found myself reaching for other foundations i definitely use it and i still like it i just don't reach for it as much as i did um the color of this one is really good for me again depending <laughs> on what my tan situation is um a lot of people moan about the doe foot applicator i actually quite like it um so yeah i'm gonna keep this one but this is a brand new sealed one i'm gonna get rid of because i'm probably not gonna make my way through both of them so yeah i'm gonna pass this one along next up the conceal and hydrate um i'm gonna get rid of this one i like that it has a pump but it's just not a foundation that i reach for really um again i would have to mix it with a more of a matte foundation and that's what i would use it for would be to mix it but yeah um it just doesn't stand out as much as the other so i'm going to pass this one along next up the conceal and glow i got this in f6 it is quite light um but i do really like it i've only used it a couple of times so i 
the opinion that I've had so far is really really good again it is also one that I would mix with my more matte foundations I'm going to keep this one in my collection and give it a bit more of a go but so far so good next up is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation now this foundation was recommended to me by a good friend of mine a fellow YouTuber called Rebecca we have really similar tastes in foundations so I always trust her when it comes to foundation I got this in F8 and I've only used it once and it is a complete wrong colour for me. I just can't get away with it. Even when I'm tanned, no matter what I try and do, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to pass this one on. Their colour shades in this is not fantastic. Um, the next one down, I believe, was too light for me. Um, however, I'm going to keep an eye out for a shade that's better suited for me. But yeah, this one I'm going to give to a new home because otherwise it's probably just going to sit there expiring in my drawers. I just remembered I got this, but I haven't included it in because I haven't used it yet. So I'll pop it in now. So the last three are new additions to my collection. So I've just got the two new ordinary foundations. This is the serum foundation. I got it in 2.0N. I've not used these before, but I used this for the first time yesterday and really enjoyed it. I did a wear test on it, which I have filmed. Um, I'm not sure if that video will be up yet or not, but if it is, I will link it below. Um, yeah, it lasted well considering it was a serum foundation. Um, it did go into my creases quite a lot. Again, there's a video on it if you want to see. But for the price, £5.95 is it. I can't complain. Like, this is a super cheap foundation. One thing I will say is it a really liquidy formula. Like, it was like water. Uh, how similar is the packaging on these two as well? They look so similar, don't they? That's crazy. I never even made that connection before. But yeah, anyway, I'm excited to give this more of a go. I'm excited to use it some more. Next one is the full coverage foundation. I got this on 1.2 white G, which is a yellow golden undertone. I've not used this one yet. It was the only shade that they really had left on Beauty Bay's website. Um, it will work for me when I haven't got tan on it. It's quite yellow, um, but that's fine. I'm more of a neutral undertone usually, but I'll make it work. So I'm excited to give this one a go as well. I've heard good things. Next up is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. This is supposed to last for 30 hours. I don't know who's wearing foundation for that long, but never mind. Um, yeah, I'm excited to give this a go. I haven't used it yet. I've try to not look at too many people's reviews in it as well so i have my own feelings behind it i'm gonna film a video with that um as well testing that out i got that in light beige 05 yeah um super happy with that can't wait to use it obviously it's staying in my collection because i haven't used it yet okay in total here we have 46 foundations 46 foundations that is just ridiculous out of that 46 i'm getting rid of this 16 over here and i'm keeping this 30 over here i know that's still a lot but it's better than 46 so i'm sticking with that so that's all of the foundations okay moving on to concealers not that bad huh my collection of concealers isn't too bad so what shall we start off with let's start off with the fenty this is probably one of the only fenty products skin products that i really really like i probably went a little bit too fair in this i've got it in 150 um and it is very light for me but i like to use it under the eyes to brighten up i really love this concealer i'm definitely keeping it and it's reminded me to use it more because i had sort of forgotten about it next up we have the maybelline insta anti-age concealer i just got gifted this recently from one of my lovely friends paula um this is in the shade light and i've been using it already i really like it this is the although it says it's for under eyes which all concealers pretty much say that i actually use this for all over my face before i put my foundation on the only thing i'm not that keen on is the applicator i wish it was just a normal applicator but apart from that i really like this concealer and i'll definitely keep using it next up is the i heart revolution heartbreaker concealer this concealer is okay i don't reach for it too often again i've probably just got it too light i needed a slightly dark one however i am going to keep this concealer just because i don't know if i've given it a fair chance so it's going to be one that i want to 
try and reach for and try out a little bit more in the next six months and then I'll know if I like it or not. I have a few more of the Revolution concealers. So first off we have the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is in C 6.5. I love this concealer. I buy it all the time. Um, I'll keep using it. Um, this one I like getting it in either the 6.5 or the C7 um, so yeah really enjoy this keep using it the same um, concealer but in a sh smaller size this one is nearly all out I have probably only got one or two uses left in this again C7 um, I would definitely pick this up again I love this concealer it's so good at covering up your spots couldn't recommend this anymore and for the price four pound for the small one seven pound for the bigger one then i have it in c2 um this is far too light i don't know what i was thinking but i just use it for when my foundation's too deep and i need it lightening up a little bit i'll just pop that in a little bit with it so use it as a lightener and also if my eyes really need some serious brightening i'll reach for it so i'm going to keep this one as well next up i have it in a deep shade of 13.5 i would use this to contour um but I don't really do that anymore since I've got the Tantor, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Then I have the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite, Infinite, which is the same as the dark one, in really light. This is C1. Too light again for me, but I will use this again for lightening up foundations and also under my eyes, doing a bit of reverse contouring with. Um, so I am going to hang on to this one. Um, again, I really like this formula. Then I have the Revolution Conceal and Define Super Size in C4, and this is just too pink an undertone for me. So I'm going to get rid of this one and pass this along. But the foundation as a whole, I really like. Next up, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Foundation. This is okay. This is light five. Um, you get six mil in here, and it shows. Like I haven't had this very long, and it's almost empty this does irritate my eyes a little bit so i actually tend to just put this on my spots under my foundation and then sometimes a little bit over depending on what color i'm foundation i'm using and um, but yeah every time i've used this under my eyes my eyes really water for a long time afterwards so i'll keep it for my spots I won't use it under my eyes. Next up we have the Colourpop No Filter Concealer and I really enjoy this concealer. I've just finished another one. This one is in light 16. I would definitely buy these again when I place another Colourpop order but I'm not going to purposely make a Colourpop order for it if that makes sense. Um, I will finish this in the next couple of months to come. I really enjoy it. This one is a little bit too light for me but it is perfect for under my eyes for brightening. Um, yeah, it's just an all-round nice concealer. Next up, I have this BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I've only used this once or twice, but it is a nice full thick coverage concealer. And I am going to keep hold of that just because I haven't given it a fair chance yet. I haven't had it very long, so I want to keep hold of it to use a little bit more. Um, but so far, so good on covering my acne. Then we have this L'Oreal Infallible um concealer it's weird i love the foundation couldn't care less about this concealer it probably is again because i got it in the wrong side um, got it in the wrong shade i really struggle with picking concealer shades because you want some for brightening under your eyes and then some to cover up your spots and i just always get it wrong this is an eggshell three two one um I'm going to pass this on because I just don't really use it and there will be someone out there that will get love for it. I've probably used it two or three times if that. It just looks mucky because it's been in my drawer. But yeah, I'm not going to keep hold of that one. Next up we have this Laritzi. La Laritzi, I think that says. Um, this is a contour stick. Um, this probably should have been in my foundation video but there you go. I'm going to pass this on. I don't use it. Someone else can get some love out of it then we have the he who should not be named concealer i like this concealer again it's far too light for me but i use it under the eyes just two or three little bits and it works really well i have been reaching for it more recently because i just want to get it used up um i am not going to get into the jeffree star stuff here um i get why people may not want to support him i'm not going to actively buy anything of his however 
you know, I still shop on Amazon and the person that owns that is an absolute awful person, potentially worse than Jeffree Star, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I like this um, concealer, I'm going to keep using it, um, I want to get it used up, I've already spent my money on it, so why not? And this packaging is insane. Next up we have the new The Ordinary Full Coverage Concealer, I got this in 2.0N and 1.2N and so far I really like it. Only thing I would have to say is that the colours on the pictures when you're buying online look quite different to what they look like in real life so make sure you do a little bit of research before selecting a colour as we all have to do. You get 8mm in here, I've only used them once so I'm going to keep using to get a fair feel of what I think but so far I like them. And we have this Revolution Pro Full Coverage Concealer and oh my god this stuff is a godsend. I got it in C7, I need to get some lighter shades, this stuff is so cheap and it works amazingly. It, if you've got bad spots, get this stuff because this stuff is so thick and full. It covers them amazingly, better than any other um, concealer that I've tried so far. I just, this one is slightly too dark for me. Um, one thing I will say about Revolution, their colours is all a bit confusing. C7 and this is a different colour to their C7 and their foundation, different colour to their C7 and concealer, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I love this. I'm not getting rid of it and I need to get some different colours of it. Then we have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Again, I'm sure this concealer is fine, but look at the shade that I've got. It's pretty much white so I never reach for it, so I'm going to give that to a better home, that is in Fair Warm, um, but I would like to try this um, concealer in a colour that suits me, this one just isn't for me. Okay, last but not least, I have this Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer, and I got it in C1, and I don't know why I got it in C1, like, all the things that I've just been talking about, and then I buy a foundation, uh, a concealer in C1, However, it's pretty thick from what I've had a look at and for a light, god look how thick that is, for a light concealer it's not as bright as I thought it would be, keep in mind that I've got a load of fake tan on. Um, I'm going to give this a go but I should have got it in a darker colour because this is going to be perfect for covering up acne rather than using it under my eye. But we don't know unless we try these things and I have bought it and haven't used it yet. I've recently just bought it like this week. So let's give it a go and see and if again in six months I'm going to do another declutter and if I haven't used it then I'll get rid. Okay so we have a total of 20 concealers. I'm keeping 15, getting rid of 5. I'm quite happy with that to be fair. Um, I don't think that's bad going, I'm always on the hunt for a perfect concealer, just the same as I am foundation, so I'm actually quite happy with that. Okay everybody, that is absolutely everything. Please do let me know your thoughts down below. Have I kept any of your favourites? Have I thrown any of them away? Is there anything here that you don't like? Do you think I've made the right choices? Don't you? Like, let me know. I love chatting to you down there. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. But if you have made it to the end of this video, I love you and I appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world. Give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Pop that notification bell on you know what to do and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much guys bye mm -hmm.